Leeds v Saints is always a big game. How are you feeling going into it? Yeah, um, you know, very, very confident, very upbeat after um, a good performance against uh, Warrington at the weekend. Um, you know, the boys came into training on Monday, you know, buzzing. You always do after you've had a, you know, a good win and, you know, we've knuckled down this week and, you know, put a few things that we didn't do right against Warrington. You know, hopefully we can put that into practice on um, on Saturday against St. Helens. Now, you lost to St. last time. Do you feel like you have a point to prove as such? Uh, yeah, not so much a point to prove, but we'd like a, a better performance than we turned out last time. We, we went over there, and you know the, the beat is pretty convincingly, really. So, um, you know, we'd like to um, you know, put in a better performance than we did that day. Obviously, being at home as well, uh, you know, it's important that we we keep our home form. You know, very strong now. We're at the, the back end of the season. I thought it was going well up until the Celtic game. I think um, fell off the horse and got back on the horse against Warrington, and, and we need to uh, pick it up over the next three or four weeks. We've got. St Helens, Hull KR and Huddersfield and I think we really need to target them three games and win and I think I'll know then at the end of them how, how well we're going to do towards the end of the year. Does this just show how open the competition is this year, how anyone can win? And yeah it is, it just shows you you have to turn up to play every game or you're going to get beaten, you'll probably have to turn up to ready to play on Monday, you can't expect to turn up, switch it on 10 minutes before you kick off and, and win or you'll get beat like we did against Celtic. Now you've got Saints this week, you lost them last time, how are you feeling going into the game? Yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's a, it's a great game. St. Helens um, are a tough team, one of the benchmarks of Super League, and we're, we're looking forward to, forward to competing against them. How's your preparation going for this season? It's been excellent so far. Obviously, we're down on a few numbers, but the young lads who are coming in are doing a great job and bringing plenty of enthusiasm to the team, and, and that's good for us as older fellas. Yeah, looking ahead to the Challenge Cup um, semi final clash. Um, what are you going to do in this match to prepare for next? Um, yeah, I mean the, the, the two separate games really. You know, the, the Challenge Cup sort of you know f you know five or six weeks away, so we're, we're not really thinking about that at the minute. Obviously, you know it'd be nice to, to to get a victory and you know have a little bit of confidence going into that game in a few weeks' time. But um, you know the the two separate games really, and you know Challenge Cups. Yeah, everybody gets up for for them games and. You know, the game at the weekend's worth two points and both teams will be striving really hard to, to, to get the two points. And you've got the grand finals closing. Um, how do you feel finishing in the league? Yeah, we, we, we need to try and finish as high up as possible. Um, you know, at the minute we're sitting in fifth, so um, you know it's not where we want to be. We want to try and obviously make the, the top four and um, it gives you a, a, you know, a better opportunity to, to make the grand final. So it's something that we, you know, we're trying to achieve um, you know, over the next few weeks, try and get as, as league form as consistent and as strong as possible. So, you know, we're finishing the best position for you know when the playoffs come around.